Welcome back. It's your boy Gak Cognac back with another video. So, no pickups this time around, but I do got mail call. Because I've just been ordering a bunch of shit online. I got a crap ton of store credits from what you've seen last time when I traded in a bunch of games last year to try to get a PS5. So, I ended up getting a PS5 from my homeboy in the Moody. So, basically, I got $600 credit just chilling there for GameStop and... I went on a shopping spree, man. So I'm going to show you guys what I got and a couple other pickups on the way. So, enjoy. As usual, in no particular order, I'm just gonna pick up whatever I got right here and we're gonna continue. First package right here in this black plastic bag. I pretty much know what this is. Um, me and the boy, you know, pick flip. We kind of trade games every once in a while. So he gets a lot of cool pickups and I got certain things as well, so we kind of just see what each other have, and then bam, that is so funny. Homeboy over here, <laughs> reuse, see he's learning from me man, recycle, reduce, reuse, or reuse and reduce, so he's over here reusing Hyphy Gold's package, hella funny dude, and I'm over here. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> the package says Waifu Kingdom right here. That is so funny. So anyways, we got 3D dot game. I thought it was called 3D dot heroes only. I didn't know it was called 3D dot game heroes. But anyways, good old hero sent me the game. 3D dot hero. Bam. You know it's the Atlas game, so Games always going up in price. Back in the days when I was collecting Atlas games, um, this was actually one of the games I needed. And I was just like, man, this game looks like heck of weak. So I didn't want to get it. And now I'm kicking myself. So I ended up having like a Futurama uh, manual for the Xbox you guys seen on a couple videos back. And I actually had the PS2 manual. And so Pickflip, he needed the well, he ended up getting the freaking game anyways, complete in box. But before that, he was trying to piece together uh, Futurama for PS2, which is, you know, extremely rare, rare game right now. And so I was like, how about this? You know, I, I like sell this to you or, or we could trade. And he ended up trading the manual for this, uh, which I'm like, cool. Take it, man. There wasn't anything else in here, right? Nothing else? So I was like, yeah, I trade you that and I had the Mario Luigi's Mansion on me for GameCube, disc only. So I traded him for that because this game is kind of like a hundred dollar game now. And you know, I'm pretty good about my trade, so here it is. And then homie always, as always, sends me some Pokemon cards, man. Cause he know Pokemon cards or Pokemon itself irks me like crazy. So it's a little tradition, man. Let's see what he does for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Anyways, I've always wanted this. I'm glad to have it, man. If y'all never played this, this is pretty much, um, it's kind of like a 3D, um, create your own character type of game, but it's in 3D pixel form. And it's kind of like a Zelda game. So it plays very close to like Link's Awakening and all that stuff like that. So I haven't played it, but that's what I know, but it's supposed to be pretty cool. So eventually I'll check this out whenever I finally start playing PS3 games again. Great library, but I haven't played much of it. Ain't that a shame? But I do love collecting for PS3. So there it is. Thank you, Hero Pick Flip, for hooking me up with the game. And if y'all don't know already, Go check out his channel. The man does some pretty good stuff, man. That guy does stuff that I'll never do. Anyways, all right, we'll move on to the next.
I don't know where to start at this point. I believe these are, um, what do you call it? GameStop packages. So I take out my hyphy gold scissor and we'll get to cutting. All right. So the only thing is I ordered a bunch of stuff because they had the promotions. I think it was like buy like a couple games and you could get them pre-owned and then you could get another pre-owned game for half off or something like that. So that's what I ended up doing for a couple things. But then there's another deal that was like buy a couple of new games and then you could get stuff like for a certain percent, like 20% off, etc. etc. It's been a while, so let's see what I got. Alright. Oh! Oh man! All right, this is funny, man. So, first of all, um, since the, since GameStop likes to send like all these packages separate because they pull them from different stores and they send it in, um, that's why I have three different packages. Anyways, I'm hella happy about this because uh, I end up getting, <clears throat> I think I bought, I don't know. I can't tell you exactly what I did because it's been a couple weeks and I've just been waiting and waiting before I made this video. So I basically did an assortment of buying new games and used games and combining deals and I would get certain games for hella cheap that I've always wanted. And one of the games I've always wanted in my collection is actually Super Luigi Brothers U. So this one came multiple times on the Wii U on GameStop. And you know, they'll get it and then they'll sell it. Like a lot of people are taking advantage and just buying these up because this is actually pretty rare. I mean, it's rare, but it's not expensive. It's generally a $30 game, but I never want to pay 30 bucks for it. So instead, after the promotions and stuff, I end up getting the game for $15.99. And I tell you, man, my homie Hypey Gold bought like three copies of these. <laughs> and it took him three times before he actually got the case for it. And he was all like, fuck, man, you know, they better get me the damn case, man. And so I get on the first try. That's not something I always get. My luck's not that damn good. So I'm happy to have this complete. You know, it's one of the cool games on the Wii U that the case is green. So it actually looks like pretty interesting when you put it into the Wii U collection. And so this is one of the few games I do need to complete my collection, man. Super Luigi Brothers U, right there. Now, whenever they have like 3DS games, I try to buy a couple of them up. And I really needed Resident Evil Revelations. Had so many chances to buy this game, and I never did. So with the promo, I was able to get it for $14.39. So... I don't know, like last November when I bought that whole uh, assortment of empty cases, Resident Evil Res Revelations was actually one of the games that was in the empty case. So I pulled it out the shelves, Resident Evil Revelations right here. I got the case complete and here's the game, so bam. Cause this game is actually kind of going up in value. Now we all know Revel Revelations came out for like almost every console, but it initially came out for the DS. So the original way to play Resident Evil Re Revelations is actually on 3DS. Um, I beat this game on the Xbox One. They did kind of ported it over, made the graphics a little bit more clean. But this was a really enjoyable Resident Evil game. As you know, as a Resident Evil fan, I strive to like get every Resident Evil copy that I can get. And I'm not that crazy where I need to get like all the European or all the Japanese ones too, but I try to get all the American Resident Evil games. So this will be good to add to the collection. Um, I did see the other one, the Mercenaries, which I have a case for as well. But somebody snatched it up while I was trying to put it in the cart already. So I was like, damn, because I could have got that for like $10, I think. So that's one. Need the other one. Y'all haven't played this. This is 
a really good Resident Evil game. They went back to the roots on this one and a lot of people was happy about it. So bam, we got that. So that's the first package. This might be a long video. Cause I got a few things. So here's the second package right here. Take out my trusty scissor again. Try to preserve these things, cause y'all know, I like to reuse. All right. No good, because this one doesn't come with the case. But it's all right, one out of two. So, Hyphy Go had put me onto this, so I was like, why not collect a couple Wii U games? So y'all already know, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. This game is going for $60 at GameStop. But with the promotion of the half off, I was able to get it for $29.99. That's what he did. Only thing is, man, this one didn't come with the case. So I do, I think I see these around at some of the GameStops. So eventually, I'm gonna have to go to GameStop and jack me a case, man. So, I'll be on the lookout for this. Even though, wait. Twilight, no, that's Skyward Sword. And I was like, I was gonna say like, it's coming out for the Switch, isn't it? This should go down in price, but no, it didn't. But this, should, this is the most definitive way to play Twilight Princess is on the Wii U. So yeah, it's technically kind of rare, even though I don't think it should be because there's so many iterations of this game now. But yeah, this will be like, now I own every copy now. So bang. Good stuff. That only came one. So here's the next. This should be GameStop. But they sent this one through FedEx, so it kind of threw me off. Throw those on the side. All right. Put that open. Let's see what we got. We got a couple of Switch games. All right. So, in this particular one, let's see what I did. I think it was buy two new games and then get the, the used game half off or something like that. Don't quote me on it, man, but I did all what I could. Anyways, two games, I bought two new games and kind of pissing me off that the two new games are gutted, man. So I don't know, I might, I might have to go in and like exchange these, man. But anyways, y'all watch Pick Flip, Hyphy Gold, on our collaborations, Hyphy Go has said, hey, this game Sakuna is hella cool. So it might be a game that'll go up in price, right? So this should be brand new and sealed, but you know what, uh, what's it called, did? And they didn't even put the little thing right here to indicate it as being brand new. So I don't know what they're gonna say to me if I bring it back. But these are going for $29.99. And I did see this, um, I should have just got the, the special edition one because I think that one was $39.99 and we got a better, we got a better copy because I think like the limited edition one should be sealed when they bring it in. But anyways, the cool thing is at least I get to see what's inside and inside, you know, it's got an art book in there. Actually, it's got an instruction manual, so that's pretty cool. We don't really see games nowadays with instruction manuals anymore. And for this game to actually put one in there, bravo, man, I like that, that's cool. And that's another game, cause I didn't know what to buy, man. So I was just buying shit. My Switch collection ain't that big, so I need to just get something to fill it in. And this is supposed to be new too, but unfortunately it's open as well. And if y'all never know, 
Skullgirls is kind of a rare game back in the days because this was like only uh, digital back then. And then they had pulled it off the shelves for a while. And now it's back with a vengeance and they made, you know, a physical copy of the game. So why not own the physical copy, man? That's what I did, bought it, because I think in time eventually this will go back up in price again. So this is actually uh, Skullgirls second encore. So it should be the second game. The first one, I'm not sure if they have a physical or not. I think maybe for the Vita or something, I'm not sure. So yeah, I was supposed to get those two new games, except they came basically gutted, which is annoying. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go return it. Maybe not. Don't know, man. Anyways, so you already know my Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is like hella expensive, especially the PS4 version. That one goes up to like 100 plus. Usually they hate on Xbox, so Xbox One doesn't, you know, it's not worth that much, but this is still a $70 game on eBay. And given the fact that I was able to get this for $17.99 with the promotion, because they were only selling this for $34.99, I said, why not, man? $17 for probably one of the better Marvel vs. Capcom games out there, if you don't count two. And then, you know, Infinite being super crappy, this is like the definitive version of Marvel vs. Capcom. And they don't make, they didn't make a lot of copies of this game. You can get this for either, what, PS Vita, PS4, and Xbox. And I opted to get the Xbox because I play on there more anyway, so good to have for the collection because this game is hecka expensive now, man. So I'm glad I was able to get that. All right. I believe there is another one. And it might be this right here. Is that from GameStop? Yep. So, next thing is this big old box right here, which I don't even remember what I got in it actually. But I'm not really tripping, because you know, or credit, you know what I mean? So it's pretty much like getting it for free. So here we go. I got some more like buy new shit. And I think I, I saw like, so I got this game right here. Kandagawa Jet Girls, right? So I don't know, people will call this a but we all joke around and be like, oh, this is a hentai game right here, man. But anyways, I got it just because of the limited edition and it was so cheap, man. Now, why didn't they give me a receipt? For, oh, is it here? Yeah, there it is. So this is another one of those brand, buy a brand new game and, you know, get some other games for hella cheap. Basically, I did a bunch of those. Um, and this particular one is actually sealed. So a good chance of buying, like, games new from GameStop is to like buy special editions, especially if they're cheap. Because that way, you know you're gonna get them sealed. So this one is gonna be good to have. I think it'll probably go up in price in the future. And I haven't really bought too many special edition stuff for PS4, so it's good to add to the collection. I remember like uh, Metal Jesus and Radical Reggie was talking about this game on their recent pickups. I got it, it's supposed to be like a jet ski game. You play as like a bunch of girls and shit. So I don't know. I'll get it just to have, just because it's limited edition and it might go up in value. So that was part of it. And then here's another new game that came fucking gutted. So it's so annoying, man. But I was like, all right, man, I've always seen this at the store. It's a uh, Fallen Legion Revenants and it's an NIS America game. Now, back in the days, I, I loved collecting for NIS America. I thought they had like some quality ass games back then. So that's what I got. This is another $30 game right here. And unfortunately, it's gutted, man. The only thing is, there is a sealed manual up in here. So that's the only thing that redeems it, kind of. But still, knowing that they gutted that shit, it's just, it's just stupid, man, you know? 
So the game's in there, but it's open. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Maybe I'm gonna seek out a store that actually has a sealed copy and swap it out, man. Or just swap it out for something else. I don't know. Anyways, this one, I don't remember what, but I think I got like um percentage off on this, but this one's gonna be Star Ocean. End up getting this for $14.39. I think it goes for like 20 bucks or something like that. So I'm actually a really big fan of Star Ocean, uh, the series. I pretty much beat almost all of the Star Oceans. I never got around to this, man. So I definitely want to play this particular Star Ocean because I know they say that it ties into um, the second story and the third game. And I really like those two games in general. So I want to get into it just to see like what it's about. And I actually recently just beat it Star Ocean 1 on the Switch. So good to get into eventually. So that's why I got it. Never got the chance to really pick this up back then. But I don't know, man. I'll take it, man. So whatever. Game's up in there. Bam. Got it. So that should be it for the uh, unpackaging for GameStop stuff. I basically got all these games. One of them came out, you know, without the cover, which is disappointing. The rest of them, it's all right. I'm not going to trip that much about it. Like, Hyphy Gold be tripping about it all the time when he be getting uh, <laughs> these open games like that. But for now, whatever. I'm not really going to trip about it, but it is what it is at the moment. I'll deal with it when I got time. Anyways, let's go see what else I got. Got some Best Buy pickups right here. That's the next thing I got going. And I saw Best Buy's had Shantae. Uh, Pick, Pickflip was kind of telling me about this, where they had this Shantae game for Switch, right? I think it's only a downloadable code, but it comes with the, the plush. Y'all already know Shantae shit is like freaking valuable, man. Shit goes up. And it's only for $20. This started off, I think, at 50 bucks back then. 40 or $50. So getting it for 20 and they eventually go up. I think eventually it go up to like $60, $80 one of these days. Good to snatch these up while you can. I still see Best Buys have a couple of these. So if you're on the lookout, get it, man. $20. Not bad. Especially if you want to double up. Anyways, so I went over there, got a couple games, just because they had some pretty decent sales. And here's what happened. Let's see. So if y'all didn't know, the Atelier Ryza games, aka Thick Thighs Save Lives 2, this particular RPG game is like... I don't know, like on the Switch and all that stuff, if you can find this game used, it's like hella expensive still. And Best Buys has a brand new one for $39.99. This is already going for like still $60 plus, $70 online. So I picked it up, man. Before that shit decides to like shoot off again, I might as well. I need to kind of collect for this series because there's so many Atelier games, man. I only got like the ones for PS2. So I got this one. I still don't got part two yet, which I got to look for, but this will give me a head start. I was looking to buy some, so I was like, screw it. Let me buy that. Next game I found, which I've been wanting for a heck of long, is uh, Control Ultimate Edition, because I've always wanted to play the Control game, and I didn't want to like buy the regular version. And the Ultimate Edition that comes with all the DLC which I do like waiting for, like Witcher and all that stuff. I like waiting for the games to just come out with complete and buy it, so I don't gotta worry about all the DLC later. Uh, and I like having my stuff on disc, man. So this game was like for 40 something dollars for the longest, and finally at Best Buys, they dropped it down to $24.99. That's a buy area for me, so I bought it. Eventually, I'm gonna enjoy playing this game because it's made by Remedy, people that made Max Payne, Quantum Break, Alan Wake and all that solid ass company so i do want to play what they got for that and see how it's like which i already know got good reviews so eventually i'm gonna get to that it's not bad 
I could opt to get the PS5 version, but you know, I'm gonna play it on Xbox, man. PS5, I'm pretty much just gonna get the games that are exclusive, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, is that everything? Or do I got some big boy stuff to show y'all? I'm not even sure if I wanna show y'all, man. This is gonna be some crazy shit right here. It's kinda crazy, but kinda embarrassing what I had to spend to get this, but let's do it, man. Y'all been waiting for this right here. Here it is. I might even leave this as a bonus video. I don't know. All right. I'm going to take this whole thing out. See if y'all could guess this game or not. I got like 10 seconds. Probably like one of the rarest games out there right now. But I got it for a decent price. Y'all guessed the other game? You know what this is? Huh? Y'all know what this is? The little Super Nintendo sign right here. Do so y'all know what this game is? I'm gonna show y'all right now. Bam! The famous Hagane, the final conflict. Man, I've always wanted this game in my collection just because, you know, this is like the grail of all grails. And if y'all didn't know, a complete and box game like this you're gonna pay like three thousand to five thousand dollars for it, man. It's crazy. So this one isn't complete. Complete. It's missing the manual. I'm sure I'll find it one day. But we got the cart. You can tell it came from like a rental because that's where a lot of uh, Haganes came from. But it's in hell a good condition, man. Like literally, look, labels all good. And it's legitimate too. So there it is. Hagane, if y'all didn't know, is one of the rarest, I guess under Arrow Fighters. It's one of the rarest SNES games out there, man. And it's going for like heck of dough. And the box, man, I'm hecka happy about the box. It's like it's not that messed up. Well, it's not messed up. It's just most of the ones I see online, they're crushed and they're faded, sun faded and all that. This one's really good. So I've seen just the box go for like seven to a thousand dollars. I think the last one I saw sold, which wasn't even that good condition, sold for like seven fifty. And y'all already know the game goes for like nine hundred. Like this is a really good condition one. Goes for like nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars, man. So I would like say right here. These together will be just a little under 2,000 bucks right now. If you get one complete in box, man, that's like three Gs. 2,000, 2,500, I would even say if I want to reach. I found this, somebody put it up for bid for $1,300. And I was like, fuck, that's a lot of dough, dude. That's hella dough. I, I usually don't spend like money like that, dude. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to place a bid, see what happens. I ended up winning the bid for thirteen hundred. So at that point, I was like, "Well, fuck! Now I got I'm committed to buy." You know, since I've been buying all these grails lately, whatever. This is probably this will probably be the last grail I buy for the year, man, because that it was like so damn freaking expensive. But I got it, thirteen hundred dollars. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all probably be like, "Man, this was crazy," but you know what? I did some work lately for a friend. It was pretty easy work. He paid me $500 cash for it. And then I ended up uh, getting a bonus check at work for like 600 bucks. So basically that's kind of free money to me. So I only paid 200 bucks for it because both of that was just unexpected money that came my way. So I don't really even count that into my, you know, expenses and all that stuff or, or money that come, incoming cash flow. So why not treat myself to a game, the game of all games right now? So it's one of the harder games too. It is a ninja game, platformer game. It's not as hard as Ninja Gaiden, but it is a hard ass game, man. And I'll be happy to pop this in and play. Damn, I can't believe it, man. Hagane, can you believe it? I never thought I would have this game. So for y'all that are wondering, because some of y'all gonna be like, man, hell nah, you bought a repro, man. You, you fucked up. I'm gonna have to 
verify that in front of y'all so I don't look hella dumb. So I ended up, because I don't have the freaking screwdriver to open these games up, I had to go on Amazon just to buy a damn thing for it, which I'm going to need anyways in the future, so why not, man? So I ended up, I don't remember what I bought, because a lot of this stuff I've just been sitting there. I found a tool that comes with batteries on Amazon. I think they sell this for like $20, so it was pretty cool. So it's the CR1616 uh, replacement batteries, and if y'all didn't know, the last time I picked up the Game Boy Advance games, um, Pokemon game ran out of battery. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just freaking reinstall the battery in there? Kill two birds with one stone. Put the, you know, get the opener. And that way I can sell that cartridge for a little bit more than it should cost because the batteries don't really cost much, man. And then, ah, bonus pickups, right? It's not really game related, but. I was like, man, if I'm going to install this, I got to do it the right way. So I don't know what happened to my old soldering tool. But I saw this one for like so cheap. Obviously, it's a cheap China brand, but I bought me a, a soldering tool. And this one comes with all the attachments and all that. The flux and the, there's the flux. And the solder. And the thing to put, I mean, it's pretty complete, man. It's, it's cheaper than the one I got from Radio Shack back in the days. But I'm going to just solder that on, and I'm probably going to use this to do a couple mods and stuff in the future, which I've been planning to do. Like maybe HDMI my Xbox, make it this final form of the Super Xbox OG version. So I need it anyway, so I got that. Eventually, I'm going to fix that cart. So I can fetch a couple more dollars for it and make some of my money back. I'll be all right. So anyways... What we're going to do is, we're going to cut this thing open. Anyways, let's get the tool. I think the smaller bit is supposed to be for the cartridges. The bigger bit is supposed to be for the SNES, right? And the other Nintendo console. So, well, I got this cool thing right here. It should fit perfectly. And we're going to see if this is a legitimate copy. Which I'm pretty sure it is. But if not, you know what I'm gonna do. The screws are looking like legitimate screws. They're kinda old. Usually if they're like, it's fake. And the screws are all like new looking and they don't look like it's the real deal. We're gonna pop this open right now. I'll show you if I got the real deal or not. All right. Slide that down. So, you know, like even seeing the rental sticker on there like gave me good confidence. But here it is. Yeah. There it is, man. Legit. See the not, not Nintendo 1992? That's what you look for. It's pretty clean, too, the cart. I might clean the pins a little bit. It's got some play out of it. But for it to be in like a rental, it definitely like did really good. So even like the little chip right there has a Nintendo logo, so that's a real deal. And then the MX, I'm, lo I'm looking at my screen right here, so like I can verify right now. The MX right there and all that, that's a legitimate copy, man. So I'm happy about that. So damn crazy that, man. This little chip right here fetches for that much money, man. It still appalls me right now. But the fact that I got it for a price that would be expensive for a lot of people, man. But, you know, since I had a little bonus to spend, I'm not, you know, I'm not unsatisfied. I'm happy with what I got. Even without the manual, I'm still ha pretty happy with what I got, man. So, whoo, good shit. But here it is, man. Here is Hagane. And, I don't know, I think I... I think I did all right. Not gonna lie, I did see back in the days, um, Collector's Luck had gotten a Hagane, and dude, the amount that like he spent for this was like way more for it for a complete box. Like, given the fact that he traded in like a lot of like consoles 
for you know for like the game itself and i think he said he spent like six hundred dollars just to buy the box back in the day dude the amount that he traded in was like freaking way over a thousand dollars man so i thought you know thirteen hundred dollars with tax came with like 14 10 or something like that hey not bad right but if y'all disagree, let me know. Y'all be like, man, yes, you spent too much on this shit. You know, but that's what being a gamer is about. You know, you buy other stuff, you rack up the money, and then you, you know, you buy stuff that you really want. Because my luck, I can tell you, I'm never gonna find this game in the wild, man. That's just gonna be impossible. So, especially out here in Las Vegas, it'll have been it would have been a bidding war like crazy to try to get this game. In this condition too on top of that so here it is the famous Hagane or Hagane however you want to say it Hagen dots here it is I was like man I didn't even know if I wanted to show this game but this was like for my viewing pleasure only because it's just gonna sit there I'm gonna have to get me like an acrylic for this thing so I got the little slip for a Castlevania which I'm gonna take out and put this in there BAM! So I'm happy about what I got. Those are my, you know, pickup slash uh, unboxing video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that segment and let me know what you think. And most of all, like and subscribe. All right, this is your boy Gakon Yak signing out. I'll see y'all next episode. It's getting late, so I'm about to go to bed. Good night, I'm out.